start off with that boy right there. It's waiting, okay? Get this pan going. Gotta get a little, little bit of olive oil in the pan. I've got some chicken breast here that's already pounded and cleaned. And I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on it just before we saute it. We buy um, Murray's chicken here. And so I've just got this, um, sometimes when you buy it, it has little pieces of fat on it at the store. And so we, we trim all of that off here. Saute in the chicken. All right, I've just turned it over. You can see how it's got that nice color to it. While that's cooking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a little bit of pear. And add that right in. I'm going to do the, do the same thing with some apple. Do the same thing with some apple. I've got some sage leaves here. Chiffonade that up real nice. I put a little oil in the corner. I'm going to drop that, that sage right into the, um, into the oil. The reason we do that is it, thank you, it infuses that oil and the oil will carry the flavor of the sage throughout the whole dish. I've got some cranberries here. We soak our cranberries in port wine. If you've never had it, I, I'm going to tell you, that's what it, that's what it needs. Some white wine. We're cooking all the alcohol off, but there's so many other flavors in there. You'll taste wine, but you can use anything. And we've got a nice little sauce going in here. So basically the chicken is, is pretty much done, and I'm finishing up the apples. Um, I've got some asparagus that I'm just going to lay over the top of it. Wow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chicken, I'm going to put it right into that squash. Okay? It needs a little butter. <laughs> and I'm just going to swirl that butter in until it melts. I don't want to cook it. I just want to just dissolve that butter in there. Okay. I'm going to pour that right over the top. That's how fast it takes. That's how long it takes. So excellent dish. All right.